Good evening, everyone. I'm Eric Gullickson here live at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium. The ECU football team in action tonight. Underdogs, 12 and a half point underdogs to SMU as they're getting ready to play at 7.30 tonight. Now, underdogs is the story for ECU football this year. They're going to be the underdogs for a little while now, and they have a few on the roster. Now, they didn't rebuild completely in the transfer portal, but they have a couple guys that are from there that are starting to make some noise for the Pirates. ECU got one of those guys left by the wayside with Deion Sanders coming in at Colorado and wide receiver Chase Sowell. We had big plans for him when he got here. You know, he, he wasn't here for spring. He wasn't here for most of the summer. Uh, and then the Michigan game, like the second series, he gets concussed. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of put him back. But we've thought it's coming. And um, I think the last two weeks, it's really showed that he could be a big time player here. His play has improved each week and so have his yards per game. He's definitely trending upward. Now the thing I challenged him with is now you gotta, you got to stack another game, another positive game on top of that. You know, if he can continue to improve on his performance, uh, then obviously uh, that's good for us. But I just I think that kid's got a very high ceiling. On defense, the Pirates' Michael Edwards III is another transfer they brought in at linebacker. He played two years ago uh, at Georgia Southern, was a freshman there. I think played over 500 snaps, started a bunch of games there. Uh, last year was kind of behind, you know, down the depth chart a little bit for us, behind a couple guys that were older. He's second on the team in total tackles and tied for the team lead in tackles for a loss. Loves the game is probably the best way to say it. You know, the best thing to say about him is he gets out there and just loves being, you know, on the field and, and competing. And, you know, he's a little bit of a smaller linebacker, but does a really good job in the run game, does a really good job playing sideline to sideline. And I think he's getting better every single week. A couple guys to look for as they face SMU tonight at 730. It's a primetime matchup, a nationally televised game against a really good conference opponent. It should be a good scene. 